then you can run a test called the caterpillar microoxidation test. Now, Caterpillar is the one who developed this test. And what they were looking at, they ran this test. You run this test at 230 degrees C. It's run at a third-party lab. So again, it's not a Chevron lab. This is not a Chevron test. You can go to a third-party lab, ask them to run the caterpillar microoxidation test. Anybody can run the test. All you got to do is pay the money to do it. Um, Again, test is run at 230 degrees C. What they're looking for, what, why CAT runs this test, is they want to know directionally if oil is going to cause any piston deposits. So they're really concerned about those crown land deposits and, and uh, the ring land deposits that end up happening. Why? Because it ruins oil consumption and it causes a lot of wear, particularly in their, in their CAT engine. So that's why they've developed this test. So if you take a look at it, uh, basically what you can look at is uh, to pass this test, you have to have 90. So if you can look at the scale, the scale goes up to about, what is it, 400. Um, so all those oils will pass the test. But you can see how well they pass the test is very important. So if I'm running some extended service intervals or if I'm looking at extended drains, um, you're going to get better protection directionally out of the Della 400 than you're going to get out of the other two. As you can see, it, it performs extremely well. And again, it's Caterpillar's test, not our test. Okay. So this, what this does for you is this. For those of you who think full synthetics is really, oh, that's an ultra premium product, you know, I can get a lot of long life out of it. The reality is this, what we're trying to show you on this is formulation counts. It's not just the base oil, it's the base oil plus the additive and how you put them together. So you can get just as good a performance out of a product like Delo 400 than you can out of some of these full synthetics. Now, in addition to this bench testing, we've been running also in the United States head-to-head um, -head engine testing. So we've got 20 engines. Um, uh, these are Cummins QSK engines uh, in oil fracking operations. So they run 24-7 a day, very high temperature, a lot of load on them, uh, and 20 with Delo 400 multigrade. So we're already out to 600 hours on drain intervals on each sets of 20 engines. But the big thing is this is, on the mobile Delvac 1 that's running in that set, that's $30 a gallon U.S. That product in, in where I'm at uh, with Delo 400 multigrade is about $12 a gallon. So significant cost difference in terms of, and we're getting the same drain intervals. And we started at 300 hour drains. Now we're up to 600. We think we'll get up to 1,000. Um, and, and again, the mobile may go just as far as our product, but they're gonna pay three times the price. And so we're measuring uh, wear metals, iron metals, viscosity, those types of things. So it's not just taking the bench testing, it's also taking it into real life field environments and showing uh, the performance of the product. On Caterpillar microoxidation, we don't have all the tests done yet, so it's not that I'm not trying to show you all the competitors, uh, it's, uh, we don't have them all done. To let you know, it takes us almost three weeks to run one sample for every Caterpillar microoxidation test. We run them twice, um, and then we run them compared to our product. So it takes a little bit of time to run the Caterpillar microoxidation test. But as you can see, again, very consistent performance. We're measuring this in minutes. As I indicated before, 90 is a pass, right? So look at the cat oil. This is the cat test. Look at the cat oil. Kind of funny, huh? Again, not our test, okay? It's their product, their formula. So they, they formulate to just pass the test, okay? So this is just, again, an indication to you of, again, I'm not slamming, I'm not, I'm not trying to show that my competitors' products, they're not necessarily poor performing, it's just you get different things out of them in terms of how they are formulated. And that's really the key thing that I want to show you. Because then you've got to figure out what, what really is going to be good for your operation. Yeah.